Hey everybody, it's me, Sugar Song, as always, and guess what today is? Yum yum box time! Um, my beautiful co-host is not here today, but we have a guest co-host that will be here in a couple minutes. With me today is Jason, taking Allie's spot in the chair. Hey, how's it going? And Allie was right on which place that we're going to? Brazil! All right, well, I've decided what we're starting off with because I looked in the box a little bit. <laughs> and Jason's ready to read the fun facts. Uh, the Tropical Chocolate Branco? Is that how you spell that? Or pronounce that? I don't know. <laughs> I always tell Ellie, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Portuguese introduced bananas to Brazil in the 16th century. Oh. Um... Over one million acres of banana farmland. Equivalent of six hundred fifty thousand football fields. Holy cow! That's how many banana farms they have. Um. No, that's how much that it is total. Oh. Uh. Let's see. These in the full glory in the remarkable chocolate bar. This combination of of a real banana, sweet butter, caramel, white chocolate is enough to well make you go bananas. <sighs> there are puns in this dumb thing. One of the smaller half or bigger half. That doesn't matter to me. Okay. So they have like the nineteen or eighteen ninety one printed on there and on the packaging itself. And we always do this before we start. Oh, yeah. Hmm. This is actually really good. Is it white chocolate? Yeah. Huh. I don't usually like white chocolate. It's probably because it's got caramel. Probably. All right. Let's do this little one. Um, fruit bowl. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay, it's... Uh... Oh, you might not like this, Jackie. The uh -oh. Pineapple fruit cheese. Yeah, it's called a fruitful saber abitaxi. Uh, pineapple was first grown in Brazil, meaning indigenous communities were savoring tangy fruit long before it became a global commodity. Hmm. So these might be like those chews that I like. That we have here in America. That's ready. Yeah, that's it. I just did that so you can open it when you're ready. Tastes about the same. Really close to what we have here. I've had this kind before. It's not that bad. I mean, mm. it's that garbage. We did it now. <laughs> it's just candy. Which salty thing do you want to do first? Mm -hmm. We got this, 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 and this. It is actually sweet. Oh, it is? Sweetened. Oh, well, whatever. It's being counted as a salty. Mm -hmm. Let's go with it. That green bag? Oh, boy. I think little peppers on it. Ooh, goody. <clears throat> Delectio sabor pimentia, I think. We eat snack with chili pepper seasoning. <laughs> Holy cow. What? Terrible. Is it really hot? Uh, it has a skull ball rating of 100,000. Oh, goody. A whopping 40 times spicier than the average jalapeno. I wonder what... Man. Uh, Al, Allie left at the wrong time. <laughs> uh, oh, so this might be the last box. I don't know if I said that. Um, there might be one more coming. Yeah, not 100% certain. Oh, dear God. Oh. <laughs> Have this at the ready. 
It's not bad. What do you think? Oh, it's not bad. I wonder if you, how bad it would be if you eat more. I got a pizza flavor though. Is that what it is? No. That's the kind of, that's what they normally have. Oh. I'm just going to try it. Because you can handle the heat. Oh, yeah. Allie would have said oh. that's not hot. There's a lot of spice. You have to eat more to get the spice. Gotcha. Okay. This really caught my eye earlier. Okay. Let's see what I'm Okay, cookies with Parmesan cheese and coconut flavor. Ooh, why? <laughs> Brazil, what are you doing? <laughs> Parmesan uh, cheese and coconut. Oh, yeah. those could be really bad. I'm probably not going to like it. Yeah, because you don't like coconut. Any fun facts about it? Um... Well... Uh, here at the very end it says, someone was once crazy enough to put peanut butter and jelly together and look where that got us. <laughs> All right. tastes like a cookie to me. It doesn't even taste like anything, really. What about you? Do you taste the... I taste the Parmesan at first. And then a little bit of a, no, I after taste. that. Then the aftertaste is kind of coconutty. I guess, kind of. I don't know. That was weird. <clears throat> that was a strange one for sure. Definitely needed a drink after that because it was really dry. Okay, this is going to be the next one, which are these little popcorn guys. Oh, it says peanut candy bar. Yeah, peanut candy. It, it has <clears throat> like a little weird thing on it. A little nut guy on it. Hmm. Uh. Let's see here. Every June, Brazilians play on their best farm, put on their best farmers' costumes, and take to the streets where they play fiddles, perform square dances, and light enormous bon and light enormous bonfires. It's part religious festival and part harvest festival. Mm. And then they like to eat these during it, I guess. Huh. Could you pronounce it. Uh, like the key, Paco Kita original. Mm. Oh, it's it's of, really breakable. Kind of smells like a pizza. Hmm. Oh, peanut buttery. Very peanut buttery. Hmm. I don't know about that. It's really dry, again. Yeah, right, dry, though. I can see how they, they're they popular. It's just... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jason. I put my head back to keep this in. Yeah, because it's, it's really crumbly in there, guys. Like, I don't know if you can see that or not. It would if I did that. Like, so, like, that's how mine looks. And then it's really crumbly off and all that nonsense, so... I don't know about those. <laughs> um, it wasn't too bad, but I'm go with this. That's what I eat all the time. Sit. Same. Pasito, Fabor, Pitoa, Corn Puff with Popcorn, with popcorn flavor. That makes sense. Corn Puffs with popcorn flavor? Yeah. 
K. <laughs> Isn't corn post? It probably tastes like popcorn. Probably. Um. Oh, they're cute. Probably kind of like our popcorn stuff. Yep. Very similar. Yeah. In that taste, but. Almost identical. Yeah. Dad would like that. Mm hmm. He'd be all over those. Nothing else about them? Um. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do these two next because they're by the same brand. Um, bibs? Yeah, we'll start with the dark chocolate one. Or whatever. The uh, darker one. I'm looking up the box from book. So, you know, you were also going to the white chocolate capital of the world? No. Yes, Brazil eats more white chocolate than any country. Then about, I'm never going to Brazil. About three times more than the U.S. Jeez. I hate white chocolate. An annual white chocolate sales amounting to three hundred and fifteen million dollars. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Its milky richness balances perfectly with its fruity sweetness. For a white chocolate treat, you're on, you, unlike any you've tried before. Huh. Um. Okay, that's the white chocolate one. Huh? Oh. The dark chocolate one, ready? Oh, th then we'll do the white one first. I guess. Yeah, because it. So each was one for each. Let's see what what's it actually called. Bibs Morango Extreme. Mm. Kind of tastes like a fruity white chocolate. Mm hmm. I mean, it's not bad. Mm hmm. For white chocolate. Extreme mango. So it must have like. Or ma mango, right? Morango, I don't know. Morango. What kind of fruit is in it? Um, strawberries. Mm. White chocolate with strawberries. That's why I like it. And then, um, the bibs, bolocos, is dark chocolate with crisp, right, crisp rice. So it's like a, so I'd have to say it's kind of like, um, that's like crunch bar. Yeah. But dark chocolate. Oh man. I don't like that dark chocolate flavor though. I'm just not a dark chocolate fan though. But I like the crunch. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but yeah, I'm not a fan of dark chocolate either. The white chocolate is definitely better. Mm hmm Alright. Um then I have this. One of these line up. Which one? Uh, we'll do it. This one? one? Yeah. Uh, Amanda Coke. Mandy Oka. Chips. Sapelva. I hope I'm not pronouncing any, any of the sub terribly wrong. That's fine. Cassava chips with onion and parsley. It's been a local staple for 10,000 years. Holy cow. Yes, you wrote 10,000. <laughs> um, yeah, cassava is a... Uh, that's a long time. So these chips are horribly broken. Um, in the factor of like how crumbly they are. Ooh. Yeah. There's a bigger one. I got the ready. Boop. Hmm. Not bad. I mean, those are good. I just wish they weren't so crushed up. <laughs> They'll be easier to eat. I probably got crushed up during the transport. Probably. They're good though. Mm -hmm. I need to wash my palate from that one. Yeah. 
Shut up, stomach. Why are you still hungry? Or eating? <laughs> I could just be upset. It gets that way. All right. Natural chocolate flavored honey bread cakes. That is what these are. Cory Powell demo. Chocolate cake with chocolate coating and sprinkles. So it's completely chocolate. Oh, goody. I've got a tricky question for you. Which of these two famous Brazilian desserts would you rather try? First, there's Paulo, Paulo de Mel, a soft traditional cake based on European gingerbread, mm -hmm. but with extra rich honey and delicate chocolate coating. Then there's Brigadierio, I hope I said that right, a chewy chocolate truffle made with sweetened condensed milk and coated in chocolate sprinkles. Actually, we should tell you it's a trick question because you don't have to choose. Fluffy honey bread covered in chocolate and sprinkles is a delicate fusion of both Brazilian desserts, giving you two famous Brazilian desserts in one bite. Huh. That's how they look. Got way more sprinkles than that. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It's not like I, I'm the one that's choosing everything. <laughs> hmm. It's all right. For me, it's kind of bland. It is pretty bland. It could be the ginger, though, that's doing that. Because when I first bite into it, I can really taste that, that chocolate. I don't know. And now we got the little yum bag. Which had these little dudes in there. There's a green one and a yellow one. Okay. Should be only two in there. One, yeah, okay, it's the, was it green you said? Yeah, green and yellow. The green one is Carmelo's Premium Porta de Limo. And the other, and the other one is Carmel, Carmelo's Premium Mousse de Maracuja. Hmm. So the first one is a lime pie flavored milk caramel. Oh. And the other one is a passion fruit flavored milk caramel. And what about the actual caramels? Um, limes were first brought to Brazil, but... Uh, by the 16th century Portuguese sailors. Um, used them to prevent scurvy on mm. their long journey. But then again, you use just about any type of fruit like that. Like oranges and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, uh, similar to key lime pie. Ooh. Um, and then the... Other one. Widely considered the national dessert of Brazil. Oh. The passion fruit flavored milk caramel. Okay. Contains just three ingredients condensed milk, cream, and passion fruit. Interesting. <laughs> Not a what? whole lot, too. So we're trying the the pie one first. Ooh. Hmm, there it is. Thanks a while back. It's definitely a slow burn into the actual key lime pie flavor. You definitely want these to be in your mouth a little bit longer to get that taste. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, and then these are the passion fruit ones. Yeah. They have a more caramelized look to them. The other ones were kind of white. I still have that dried chocolate in my mouth here and there. Try to get most of it out. Boop. Mmm. Um, that one. That one fits right from the get go and it tastes pretty good. It, it is really good. That one did hit really good. Okay, we only have one more thing. The Pipoco, Pipoca, I don't know. The Lose is it's a sweetened popcorn snack. Anything else, guys? Um, okay, this, other, this isn't only popcorn. It's made from a different type of corn. Instead of popping, the kernels retain their shape and expand, becoming super soft and airy. Yeah. Just add sugar and you got a huge popular Brazilian snack. Huh. Addition and a bread. And I was wondering base. why they looked more like popcorn kernels than popped corn. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I wasn't expecting that pop of flavor. Funny. <laughs> you want to read some more fun facts on just the country while I do my favorites? That's what usually Allie does. What she was has been doing. The snapshot thing or? Anything. There's like a info page or whatever. Um... <clears throat> In Brazil, they have the Christ the Redeemer statue. In 1920, a Rio community known as the Catholic Circle proposed that a statue be built to inspire holiness in local society. They considered several designs from a simple cross to a statue of Jesus holding a globe. Before they landed on their top choice, an open-armed statue of Jesus symbolizing peace. Little did they know their 120-foot tall statue would later become one of the most globally recognized symbols of Christianity, earning a spot in the seven new wonders of the world. Ah, your turn. So, I have a surprise today, everybody. I bought these uh, little bunnies that are sour from our local store. And since it's almost Easter, we're going to try these too. So I'm going to get them ready while Jason's try or seeing what his favorites are. We got watermelon and blue raspberry. I asked Jason before which ones he he wanted, and he wants the blue raspberry one, and I'm going to have the watermelon one. And they're actually like little sour chocolates, basically, I think. I'm not sure. Are they chocolate? I don't know. It's just sour, that are shaped into rabbit. I don't know. It, it looked interesting, and I had to get them. <laughs> they're just a dollar, so I was like, let's do it. I hope everyone's staying safe out there and keeping clean. It was really hard for me to choose my worst on that, by the way. Not me. <laughs> not you. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh, yeah, not, that's the wrong one. I marked the wrong box. We'll try these quick and then I'll um, read off. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, melting in my hands. That one was a mistake. Jason, come on now. <laughs> Alright. Here's yours. 
They smell really good. Boop. Hmm. Interesting. They are really soury. Hmm. I have bro. Same, but. So they just must be like a sour bar. I mm -hmm. thought maybe they were going to be more chocolatey. I'll finish the rest of that later. Here's your box if you want to. All right, I'm going to read off the results here. If I can read Jason's chicken scratching here. Um, my best was the last one that we had, which was my favorite. Jason's best was the white chocolate. Uh, Bill's, right? My yeah. second best was that, the white chocolate Bill's. Your second best was the caramels, the, the actually, the, the passion uh, fruit one, right? The passion fruit one, yes. Um, my worst was the dark chocolate Bill's, and then you didn't like the one with coconut in it. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> the weirdest for me was the the one that Jason's worst was. The weirdest one for you was the first one that we tried, huh? The caramel one? Great. Yeah. No, no the banana one. The banana one. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. Hopefully, um, this wasn't our last box, but if it was the last box, it was a pretty good last box. So, thanks, guys. Bye. See you later. Thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe today. Also, hit that bell icon so you never miss another video. See you guys next time. Bye.